You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Indian tobacco, Lobelia inflata. Indian tobacco is one of those plants which thrives along wood edges and in the fields of eastern and central North America. It grows anywhere from six inches to three feet tall. Sometimes the lower portion of a taller plant will recline along the ground, as this plant demonstrates. Indian tobacco is not too obvious among all the other greenery, unless you discover some tiny bits of white sprinkled within that green. Once you are familiar with this annual plant, you may spot a new plant sprouting in late spring through the midsummer months. Indian tobacco will grow in gravel. It will grow in poor soil. It will grow within areas populated with lots of other green plants. After sprouting, the plant grows taller, with new leaves showing finely toothed and possibly wavy edges. If you look closely at the leaves, you will see tiny white dots along the leaf margins. The stalk is covered with fine hairs. When the Indian tobacco plant has grown tall enough, its central stalk begins to grow flower buds at its tip. New branches may grow from existing leaf axles along that central stalk. These side branches also develop flower buds at their tips. The top of the central stalk develops further upwards. Now we can see more flower buds growing alternately along the stalk. The flower bud expands within its green sepals. These developing flower buds grow along the central stalk. Observe the thin, sharply pointed sepals. Also, see how the flower petals change color to a pale purple. Flowers bloom at the top of the central stalk as well as further down that stalk, mixed in with leaves. Branches emerge from leaf axles on the central stalk. This Indian tobacco reclines, and we can see the branches extending to either side. Flowers grow along these side branches, too. The flowers open along the central stalk and along a side branch. Observe the slight variation in flower color in all these images, from almost white to pale lavender or light blue. Sometimes a single flower will grow at a leaf axle. Other flowers grow in larger groups along a side branch. Flowers bloom from the bottom to the top of the center stalk. Along a branch, the flowers bloom from closest to the plant's center out toward the branch's tip. Let's inspect these flowers more closely. Since their maximum size is just over one quarter inch across, the best way to view them is with a 10x hand lens. Viewing the flower from the front, we can see it has two lips, with the upper lip split into two lobes flaring up and back, and the lower lip with three lobes. Five sharply pointed sepals frame the flower. Light green dots are slightly raised above the petal surface. The pistil curves from the top downwards toward the flower's throat. Turning the flower at a bit of an angle, we can see the pistil with its stigma at the tip. We can also see some more light green dots on the lower lip's surface. Look how fuzzy the pistil is! And the dots are more of a yellow color on this flower. Now look at the flower from the side. Here's the corolla with the upper lip, lower lip, and pistil. And here's the calyx with the sepals. The Indian tobacco flower includes a pedicel, a short stem. Another side view of the flower. Looking from the top, we can see the upper lip's two lobes are split they're separate from each other. This allows the pistil to extend above the flower and curve down toward the flower's center. 
Indian tobacco leaves are ovate in shape, anywhere from one half inch to nearly four inches long, and sessile. That means they do not have a peduncle, a leaf stem. Instead, the leaf blade arises directly from the stalk. Venation is pinnate. The margin is finely toothed. The underside of the leaf is lighter in color. It's a lot easier to see that pinnate venation. And this bottom surface is covered with hairs. There are tiny white dots along the leaf margin. Here's a close view of the white dots on the top surface of the leaf. There's some waviness to the leaf margin. And now a close view of the white dots from below. Did you notice all the hairs on the leaf? If we look down onto a young Indian tobacco plant, the leaves look well spaced to receive light. Leaves alternate along the stalk. Leaves alternate along the branches. Here we can see branches growing from axles of the larger leaves, while smaller leaves grow at the beginning of each branch. While new flower buds are forming, and as other flowers are blooming, older flowers are dying. See how relatively narrow the calyx looks when the petals begin to die? The older calyx swells with the growth of seeds. This swollen calyx is topped with dead brown petals and with a shriveling dark blue pistil. Seed capsules develop in the same sequence as the flowers bloomed from the center of the plant outwards. In this image, we can see the ellipsoid capsules developing along the side branches, as well as up the central stalk. Here they are at the ends of the side branches. Moving in for a close view, the petal lips and darker pistil are withering above the capsule. The capsule retains the pedicel. As the corolla shrivels, the calyx swells. The pointed sepals remain at the top of the capsule. The newest Indian tobacco capsules are green, while the maturing capsules turn a lighter color. The inflated capsule changes from green to a lighter shade of yellow-green then from lighter green to tan, and from tan to brown. Finally, from brown to dark brown. Leaf color changes as the growing season progresses. Stalk color changes while the seed capsules finish developing. When the capsule is completely dry, the top of the capsule opens for seeds to shake out when blown by the wind. The pedicels have dried up too. If we pick and open an inflated capsule before it is totally brown, we can see its small seeds. Here's a dried capsule with the opening at the top. We can pick a branch with dried capsules and pull off one to study. The papery covering tears open to reveal the multitude of tiny dark brown seeds. Eventually, those Indian tobacco capsules look transparent. Throughout the winter season, you can find the dried capsules hanging from the dried stalks, dispersing the last of their seeds during winter windstorms. Indian tobacco plants continue blooming and making seeds until the first hard frost. Flowers bloom while the plant's leaves turn color. Leaves turn yellow, sometimes with a bit of red thrown in. Stalks also turn a lighter shade of green before drying to brown. In late fall, the plant's leaves finish their color change, while the mature capsules capture our attention with their inflated size. The papery capsules glow in winter sunlight. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Lobelia inflata, also known as Indian tobacco. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of Indian tobacco, for a blog post comparing three species of Lobelia, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.